<laughs> now, we were searching termite mounds for some predators, but we've found a scavenger on a termite mound, and we're at the hyena den now, and I'm so happy we managed to find this adult hyena with the cubs. I'm just trying to look. I haven't seen these cubs yet. And they're busy suckling. There's, I just see the. Is it just the one? I'm actually not sure. I think it is just the one. The one youngster. And you can just see the head. Every now and then it moves. We just got here, so I haven't seen any others yet. <laughs> and uh, they've got their backs to the den. Um, well, the cub has got its back to the den, and the female got his back to us so we can't actually see from the other side but we're just going to sit here patiently and wait and then hopefully we'll get a view of that little one I'm so happy because this is the first time I've seen seen this little one for some reason every time I've come to the den we haven't had much luck the adults are away scavenging looking for food Very peaceful here at the moment around the den. It's a cool, cool morning. It's still overcast, there's still cloud cover around. And Elizabeth, you said you were so hoping to see these hyena cubs on the youngsters. Um, so I'm so glad you are watching and we are able to show them to you. No, no, <laughs> very cute from what we can see. Now that little one is still very young. I just saw it's still quite dark, and that's a sign that it is young. You look at that; it's basically black. You see the body moving at the back there? That is a young cub. Oh, great, Seb, well done. <laughs> Trying to suckle. So that is a sign that it is very young. I'd, I'd, I'd like to get a, a, a look, a proper look at the whole body. Maybe we can gauge exactly how old they are, but I would guess a month old, possibly three weeks to a month old. Um, I, just from what I can see now, but like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not sure. O D farming, um. We're not that close to them. Well, actually, you know what we are? We're probably about about 20 meters away from them. So close enough that we can get a view, um, but not close enough that they feel threatened or that we're encroaching too much on their, on their den. So there's, there's, with a den site in general, we've got to be sensitive. And it's like lion, leopard, hyena, wild dog. You never try to go too close. Try to go as far as you can to get a view and then and stop there. Um, you never want to get too close and disturb the animals. So where we are now, they feel completely comfortable and happy and relaxed, which is what we want. We don't want to interfere with the animals at all. Now, uh, Elizabeth, you were asking about the female hyenas and their suckling. So, Elizabeth, with hyena, it's a matriarchal society. The, the, the females are more dominant, but it is run by a queen. So the, the, the alpha female, the queen of a clan of hyenas, she is usually the only one that will give birth to cubs. So she is the only one that will suckle them. Um, at times that she may allow other females to give birth, uh, perhaps a beta female within the clan to also give birth to cubs and those cubs will probably stay within the den. I've seen, I've seen a number of cubs at various ages from different females in the same den. 
I'm not so sure about the aloe suckling, the, the suckling shared amongst the females. I think it does happen, but I stand to correction. Um, I'll try to find out for you. But um, in that situation where there are a number of cubs around, I, I'm, I'm just trying to think from what I've seen in the past, there's usually a slight age difference, and then I think the the only the mother will suckle her cubs but i but i'm not sure i don't know if there's been any research on it if somebody has witnessed females suckling other females cubs this is lying at a very awkward angle this is almost upside down Now, from what I've seen in the past, when I've got to den sites, it's only been the adult female who she will suckle um, her own cubs, whoever the mother is. I haven't seen other females come and allow cubs to suckle from them. Hold on a second, everyone. Sorry, I'm just listening to an update. Um, uh, sorry, just hold on a second for me. iPhone Texan, go ahead for Byron. Um, uh, sorry, everyone. Okay, everyone, you know what? Terribly sorry. I think let's quickly go because apparently there's some wild dogs that are running through the property. Um, I will come back to this hyena den again, but you know, wild dogs we don't get to see very often. And um, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think they're running. Um, let's see. These guys. <laughs>